Bismillah wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created the days and nights. All the months in a year belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But then there, there are some special days and special months. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that Ash-shahrullah, that this month of Muharram is the month of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then in this month, there are some special days. One of those special days is the most special day in the month of Muharram is the 10th of Muharram. This year, 2020, the 10th of Muharram falls on Sunday 30th of August. And the 9th of Muharram is the Saturday 29th of August. Both of these days have been mentioned in a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In one of the hadiths, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that we should fast on the 10th of Muharram because whosoever fasts keeps a rosa on the 10th of Muharram, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will erase his or her sins of the previous year. Subhanallah, just by keeping one fast purely and sincerely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we can be amongst those people whose sins are removed of the previous year. Subhanallah, this is a huge blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we should try to fast. And the fast um, begins at around 3.45 in the morning. So quarter to four, we should stop eating and drinking and start our fast, start our rosa. In another hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that if I live until next year, I will fast on the 9th of Muharram. And uh, there's a hadith from Al-Hakam that he says that Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he, who's the cousin of the Prophet, he advised uh, his disciples, his followers, that when the month of Muharram starts, you know, start counting the days until the 9th of Muharram and then keep a fast on the 9th of Muharram. And when he was telling people, Al-Hakam asked, is that what the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to do? And Ibn Abbas Radiallahu Ta'ala, the cousin of the Prophet, he said, yes, indeed, this is what the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to do. So, you know, please do try to uh, fast on uh, Saturday and Sunday and then if you can keep fast then the next day is the Monday and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to fast every Monday you know to thank Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala for Mawlid for his blessed birth for his blessed arrival uh, in, in this world so this is, is something uh, now that we can um, develop as, 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 an, as a habit to uh, fast as many times as we can um, during a particular month but then also on special days so this is about fasting and the significance of the uh, 10th of Muharram and the 9th of Muharram then there are other uh, acts of worship that we can do in particular send salawat on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam durood on the Prophet and why is so important is because you know on the 10th of Muharram we also remember the sacrifices of the family of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Sayyidu Shuhada the leader of the martyrs Imam Hussain the beloved grandson of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he was uh, he was brutally murdered and he was martyred and the reason why I mention the words that he was brutally murdered is for us to you know for us to realize that the massacre of Karbala you know took place for a reason and the reason was that Imam Hussain radiallahu ta'ala who wanted to preserve the fundamental principles of Islam in our life we come across people who do zulm we come across people who are trinical we come across people who are tyrants we come across people who are um, who forget everything you know because of their greed they do not value relations. They do not value uh, you know, the teachings of Islam. And, and uh, when we learn about the martyrdom of Imam Hussain, he, uh, he helps us to understand how important it is to, uh, to be on the side of justice, to be on the side of truth. Uh, 
And sometimes you have to uh, sacrifice many things to stand up for justice. You know, this is this is a quality that's diminishing amongst Muslims, and we should uh, in, in seek inspiration from the life of Imam Hussein radiallahu ta'ala anhu and also the beloved household, the blessed household of the Prophet, all the companions who sacrificed, you know, gave time, gave money, and gave energy, whatever they had for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when we recite the root, we ask Allah to send his blessings on the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam but also on the family of the Prophet and um, from the family of the Prophet, the one who were closest to the Prophet you know, first of all was his own beloved daughter Sayyidah Fatima Tu Zahra radiallahu ta'ala anha then Imam Hassan, Imam Hussain radiallahu ta'ala anhuma you know this family uh, known, uh, known as Panjitan Park, the five pure people First of all, the Prophet وسلم, then Sayyidah Fatima, the daughter of the Prophet, then Imam Ali, the son-in-law of the Prophet, then their two children, Imam Hassan and Imam Hussain So on the 10th of Muharram, also offer some nafal prayer, you know, dedicated to Sayyidah Fatima to Zahra, to Imam Ali Karam Allah, to Imam Hassan, Imam Hussain, and present the reward of whatever recitation you do, the drood that you recite, the the um, charity that you give in their name, asking Allah the, you know, to accept it, the, the Ya Allah, you've, you know, asking Allah and saying to Allah that you've done these things to to um, show your love for the family of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala bless us in this world and in the next world, grant us the company uh, of the beloved grandsons of the Prophet Sallallahu in paradise inshallah and our sisters may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them the company of the uh, beloved daughter Sayyidah Fatima to Zahra and also the granddaughter Sayyidah Zainab radiallahu ta'ala and her on the day of judgment inshallah. Ameen. Sama Ameen.